Uh, welcome to Center of Mass Advanced Knowledge Problem of the Week. For this week's problem, we want to prove something known as Cauchy's uh, mean value. Yeah, Cauchy's mean value theorem. Uh, so this theorem states that we there exists a C such that f of b minus f of a over g of b minus g of a equals f prime at c over g prime at c, where uh, f and g are differentiable on uh, the open the the open interval a, b, they're continuous on the closed interval a, b, and uh, j does not equal g, b, and c is some number between a and b. So this looks uh, kind of similar to the mean value theorem, although uh, we need to do a little, bit, a little bit more work to prove it. Uh, so we're going to consider... So we're going to consider a function h of x, uh, which equals f of x minus f of a times g of b minus g of a minus g of x minus g of a times g f of b minus f of a. Uh, note h of b, uh, this becomes f of b minus f of a times g of b minus g of a minus the same thing over here. So it's zero at b. At a, uh, these front terms both become zero. And so h of a equals h of b, which equals zero. So now we can uh, use Rolle's theorem because this function uh, it's continuous on closed AB, differentiable on open AB, uh, and H of A equals H of B. So we have, for some C between A and B, uh, the derivative of H of X is going to equal zero. So because this function we, this new function we considered has uh, some value c where its derivative is zero. Plugging that in to what's equal, uh, we have f prime at c times g of b minus g of a minus g prime at c times f of b minus f of a equals zero. Uh, rearranging this a little bit, knowing that g of b minus g of a does not equal zero due to our initial condition, uh, we arrive at our final result, uh, f of b minus f of a over g of b minus g of a equals f prime of c over g prime of c for some c between a and b. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please check out centermath.org, check out our blog, and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you.